Um, I think the first obvious thing to say, which I don't think will surprise anybody, is that I am increasingly concerned, as I suspect many people are right now, about the prospect of the transition period ending at the end of the year with no trade deal agreed between the UK and the European Union. Um, any trade deal that is likely to be agreed at this stage is going to be quite a bare bones minimalist agreement. So we are anticipating some disruption and inconvenience anyway, but that clearly will be much, much worse if there is no agreement at all. So I very much hope that we will see breakthroughs in these talks literally over the course of today in order to be more optimistic um, about the prospects. And I think the UK government has to get real and really understand the implications uh, for the NHS and across the economy if there is uh, no deal agreed. In terms of the NHS, which I haven't seen some of the BBC coverage this morning, I, I think is what you will have been asking about, uh, then clearly we look very carefully and have been looking very carefully at uh, arrangements for medicines and other clinical consumables. Uh, we've established a, a national stockpile of around 60 critical care and uh, supportive care and uh, end of life uh, medicines. We've got a stockpile of supplies of COVID treatments. Um, NHS National Services Scotland is working to ensure adequate supplies uh, of stocks of medical devices and clinical consumables. 88% uh, of products are already at the target of six weeks of supply or above that, and the remaining items are on order and expected within the next couple of weeks. So there's a lot of work going on to make sure that the NHS has the supplies it needs. But all of this becomes... a lot less uh, stressful for everybody in our NHS if we see a positive conclusion to these talks over the next 24 or 40 hours. I mean, they really are in the end game now. Just before I came in here, I uh, saw comments from Michelle Barney saying that agreement really has to be reached by Wednesday. So that's the 11th hour or five to midnight state that things are at. And I think it's in everybody's interest uh, for a deal to be struck.